Okay, we pulled into this little loop right here. We've been here before and uh, we've got some trails mapped in this WMA on Onyx Off-Road app. So check that out. But uh, really cool place. I enjoy coming out here. There is some good primitive camping spots if you you know can catch them when nobody else is there. And we was just over on that side and we did a video of a complete SUV camping setup. So pretty cool. Some type of insect bee catcher or something there. But yeah, there's we pulled up and these hawks went crazy. They're just they're gone now. I guess they didn't like us being here. But I just want to stop catching video. I got some good video of the hawks flying around, soaring around. Really cool area. You can see by looking at our screen there we're out exploring some dirt roads this is actually a trail and going toward poison springs wma that we have already mapped and turned into onyx and it's live on the map there and uh, we're just out here making sure that it's still open and everything is okay with it but this time, instead of the Cherokee, we're in the Compass Trailhawk. Testing out the new Open Country AT3s, and they handle pretty doggone good. They're really quiet on the road, and they have enough knobs that uh, I feel confident that they get you out of a sticky situation. Looks like they've redone these roads pretty recently. They're in better shape than when we mapped. But as you can tell, uh, if it got wet, rainy, these could be kind of sloppy. So we're going to continue on and check back with you later. These roads are in the Poison Springs WMA area. You can go to their website online and get all permits needed. The Poison Springs WMA area is in the area of the Arkansas Overland Route Trailhawk Loop that we mapped and is on Onyx Off-Road. We did have a few water crossings on this part of the trails through Poison Springs WMA. They did get to about 10 inches in depth in some areas, but they all had rock bottoms and we weren't worried about getting stuck. We did come across the mud hole and stayed to one side and made it through, although it did throw some mud up on the compass. We carried on, saw beautiful sights 
this is an area that if you haven't been in to explore, you should really check out. Well, this trip, we have had a few water crossings. They're flowing pretty good here. They come up to about the bottom of the black. So it wasn't all that deep and there is rock in the bottom of it. We just kind of took it slow and as long as I could see gravel, I wasn't too worried about it. Hopefully we don't get into anything worse than that. Yeah, a little puddle up here, but we're gonna continue on. Poison Springs WMA was established in 1972. The area is located 25 miles west of Camden on State Highway 24. There are green WMA signs posted at the entrance of the larger tracks. Free permits from the Arkansas Forestry Commission is required to hunt, camp, or collect firewood. You can call 870-836-5882 to reserve a campsite and obtain a camping firewood permit. The Arkansas Forestry Commission has designated several areas as primitive campsites. The free permit must be obtained from them in order to use these campsites. Don't forget, while you're in the area, that White Oak State Park is close by with an awesome lake to fish in, beautiful campground, and also Chidester, Arkansas is close with the little Grand Canyon. As we continued following our trails that we had mapped for Onyx Off-Road in the Poison Spring WMA area, we enjoyed more views and decided to cut across to some unmapped area. Following these forgotten county roads, we ended up running across a herd of wild hogs. It's been a long time since we actually crossed paths with wild hogs out in the forest. The last time I can remember running across a bunch of them, we was actually camped at Atlanta State Park and we were walking one of their nature trails when we come across a pretty big herd of wild hogs. We slowed down, tried to catch some pictures, and of course when Remy saw them, he got upset and had to give them a what for. kind of cutting across uh, it says it's county road kind of for some of this is private property on each side the sign that we took said county road so I don't know there is a gate at the beginning that was open don't look like it gets closed but we're trying to cut across to uh, another road that we've already mapped and we saw these purple flowers and they're just bees and butterflies <laughs> 